Okay guys, this is what I was talking about. That's a lot of berries. And the yogurt that I was talking about, it's this one here. It's the creamy Greek style coconut yogurt. You get this from Lidl. You're gonna get obsessed with this one. Mix it with some berries and just eat it up. Honestly, it's so good. Everybody in the house is obsessed with grapes apart from me, so that has finished. But as you can see, it's only me who loves berries. But anyway, guys, let's mix this yogurt in here. Oops, I'm recording with one hand. Excuse me. And now mix it and eat this. I always get the zip seal bag from Asda and it looks like this. And then I wash my berries and I put them in there and then I freeze them. Let me wash them first and then I'm gonna freeze my berries so they stay fresh for a long time and then I can keep using them every day. So I prepared three bags, I believe is enough because whatever is left here, I think I'm gonna make like a cheesecake later and make use of these berries. But three bags like this one is enough. I don't want to overdo it because they might just get wasted. So I'm gonna make something of this. Somebody's at the door. So I'm gonna make something of this later if I have some time. And it's in the freezer. Well, hello. So I just finished up my level up class with one of the girls. And it's super interesting because Every time I do level up classes, I feel like there's people that come from all different types of backgrounds and they all have a set of really different problems, which is why I love this experience of doing these one-to-one -one classes because every session is then customized and every exercise that I give is then customized to the needs of that particular person, you know. And it's so interesting because some women are usually quite older than me and some are very, very young, and some are just uh, my own age group. And it's interesting because I see them all having different kinds of problems. And the fact that I can tell them something and they listen to it and it inspires them and it makes sense to them, it just touches me so much. It's so humbling, if that makes sense. I know this is something very personal I'm telling you guys here. My channel is not about personal stuff here, but I'm loving this, you know, these vlog style videos and like me telling you guys kind of what I do and, and a part of my day that you can now see, you know, it very well includes a lot of inspiring others, you know, a lot of teaching others and enabling others to do better and to improve themselves and become the best version of themselves, basically, you know. And I have been there where it was such, so much confusion and doubts and self-doubt and so much influenced by others' bad opinions and stuff that I was so lost. And it can happen with you at every stage of life, whether you are in your 20s, whether you're in your 30s, whether you're in your 40s or even 50s. I mean, I deal with ladies from every, every age group. Many of the girls tell me, many of the ladies tell me that you know, Isha, we saw your live session on Facebook last year or like a few months ago or just like even just yesterday. And this is what you said. And this is what I heard when you said this last year. It made such a difference because then I started to uh, follow that and uh, apply that to my life. And it made such a difference. And I'm here thinking, oh, wow. Okay, I said that last year. I mean, half of the things that I sometimes say during my live session, sometimes I don't even remember. And people listen to it it makes a difference for their life it makes a difference in their outlook and they follow things like it's a rule of thumb you know that makes me feel happy because sometimes i forget the things that i say my own self and then somebody else is here reminding you that this is what you said and this helped me so much in my journey and helped me so much in my own life and stuff like that and i'm like oh wow i love listening to this like i love hearing this you know like i love doing these classes with girls because it makes a difference for them and they learn and they grow and i learn so much more for example i've had this one client you know she's having some thyroid problems and a few other problems that go with it you know so that made me research the hell out of this problem also because i want to know everything also i mean i know what thyroid is and all the medication that people take and all the problems that come with it i know but i want to know more so that i'm able to identify what you can do what you can add to your lifestyle what you should remove from your lifestyle and really truly see what works you know so i do spend a lot of hours every single day researching the hell out of a lot of things sometimes people can really think all i do is skincare and makeup and like what sit around and it's it's not that case the amount of research that i do on every subject i literally have i feel like 
I shouldn't say that, but I have a PhD in like almost everything. I can truly say that. But anyway, I shouldn't talk like that about myself. There's obviously way better people, uh, very intelligent people out there. But it's just, this is what I love to do. I love to do my research. I love to know what I do. I love to know what I'm talking about. And I love to know that if there's a new problem or a new term in front of me, then I need to know everything about it. And this is why I keep growing. And this is why I'm able to inspire so many people and teach and give classes to ladies that really believe in me. I really do appreciate everybody who appreciates me also. You know, it just, it's so humbling to be honest. The type of feedback that they give and then the type of prayers that they send my way, you know, it's just, it's everything. Like this is what I live for. This is what I live for. But anyway, moving on, I have one more client I have to give classes to. I cannot, of course, I cannot disclose uh, problems and things that they're going through is all different problems. But maybe one day I'll be able to record one of my sessions with you guys here. But let's see when I get that type of client who's like ready to be recorded and documented like that. Let's see. I hope I find someone like that. And then I'll record a session with you guys so you can see, you know, how it goes and what they do and how it affects them. And, you know, the input that I give and then what they do and stuff. So it's, it's very interesting, actually. But regardless, if you want to book me as your life coach, as your mentor for your level up session, for your level up journey then definitely book me. And I am not just about the looks, guys. I really do work on your mindset, on your emotional well-being, on your physical well-being, and everything else in between, okay? So if you're looking for tough love, then that is what you're going to get. I'm not going to be sitting around here and just talk about makeup and looks. Oh, yes, girl, that's pretty. Oh, my God, so pretty. No, that's not what we do here. It's about a lot of things combined as a whole, okay? That's what I work on. So if you have any sort of problems, and if you're even depressed and stuff, I can really help you with that. But anyhow, moving forward, after I'm done with my next client, I am going to bake a cake. I decided I might not go live today. Instead, I really want to bake a cake because I love baking so much. I really do try so hard to take some time out and like cook and bake every day, but it's kind of impossible. But today I want to bake a cake. All those leftover berries that we still have, I want to make something from it. And I saw this really nice recipe online. Uh, it's like a lemon blueberry cake. I'm gonna make that. I hope I have all the ingredients. Let's see But yes, I'll bake a cake after this. So see you guys shortly Hello from the kitchen guys. Let's start with the recipe. First of all, what we need is two large eggs One cup sugar and beat them for five minutes until it's creamy <laughs> sour cream because I didn't have it I'm gonna actually use some yogurt kata yogurt it's been in the fridge for a few days so it's quite sour um, and I used less than a cup just in case I go wrong at least I know I didn't waste too much yogurt because yogurt is my favorite thing half cup you need olive oil like really light olive oil it shouldn't be so strong you know one spoon we need vanilla essence I'm gonna also add a little bit of salt just a very a little pinch, okay? And now we can beat this. Okay, now in a separate bowl, you need two cups self-raising flour or plain flour, whatever, and then about one spoon baking powder goes in there. And the main thing, this is half a spoon lemon zest. And oh my god, there's also seed. Oops. Um, but it's also one spoon um, lemon juice. All oh, the seed, I need to take out the seed. Mix this one properly. And then we're gonna add this mixture now to our first mixture. Half of it first. a little bit with the spoon first because as soon as I start my mixer honestly the flour starts flying all over the kitchen this batter actually smells very very lemony I love it next obviously we're gonna add some blueberries in there okay let's mix this first oh my god yummy guys this has to be the most fluffiest yummiest batter that I've ever tasted I'm telling you mm, it is like the right balance of sugar 
and lemony and it's not too sugary by the way this cake is not very sugary anyway let's move to the next step the next step is fresh blueberries washed and strained and one spoon corn starch goes in there and about half a teaspoon oh that seed oh god okay half a teaspoon lemon juice this should be enough and now mix it up guys look at how cute this is i got this book from amazon if you guys need a link i'll give you guys why is it so dirty oh because the surface was messy anyway ignore that as long as it's clean from the inside it's okay so i've just oiled this okay i'm gonna put half of my cake mixture into it this is like the fluffiest, yummiest batter ever, honestly. I'm gonna go ahead and put our berries in there. Fill it up actually. I want lots of berries. This one better come out really nice. I have a feeling it will, to be honest. This much, I think, is enough. I'm gonna leave some of it for the top. I think this cake tin or can or pan whatever it's a little too big for the mixture it might not be able to cover up like all the berry but it's okay and the rest of the berries go on top oh my god that seed lots of berries yummy I set them a little bit into the mixture just so they're not separate popping out The oven was preheated at 180 of fan oven. It's going to be baking here for about 45 minutes. Looks like it's ready. Oh my god, I couldn't see the other side. Oh my god, half of the side is literally burnt. Can you see that? Awesome. No. Well, this side is good. Look at that side though, it's burning a little bit. I'm glad I took it out just now. If I had let it like more five minutes, it would have been all burnt. Let's try quickly. Oh yeah, it looks good. Yay! I'm kind of scared to take it off. Oh my god, I'm using this rose thing for the first time and I'm so anxious. I hope it comes out nice. I don't know. Shall we? God, I'm scared. <laughs> you know, I have to take it off. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, one, two, three. Ow. Okay. Guys, I'll have to use both my hands. I'm sorry. Okay, this is how it came out. Um, <laughs> some parts went missing, like this one here. But I think we're fine. Next, what I want to do, I want to actually sprinkle some... I don't actually have that sugar, uh, the powdered sugar. What do you call that? The... You know what sugar I'm talking about. I don't have that, okay? So I'm gonna actually sprinkle on top some coconut. By the way, I tasted these ends here and you guys, this came out yummy. It's not very sugary at all, so it's a good balance, okay? So if you're looking for cakes with like not too much sugar, this is your cake. And then I'm gonna serve it with some coffee. We almost finished the cake. Less than half is left. It was actually delicious, guys. Definitely make it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you guys next time. Bye.